We are getting on the plane to Bora Bora. Now all the YouTubers said to sit on the left and I, we asked the stewardess and she said sit on the left so you can see Bora Bora but then we sat on the left and it was on the right. Bora Bora has the coolest airport I've ever seen. This is it. You come out of there and you exit out the other side with all the resorts waiting for you. It's got a little dining area, but the coolest thing about the airport here is that it's on its own motu or island and it just, you can just head straight to the waters and fishes are just practically swimming right below your feet. Oh man, you can't even see that. But here, let me zoom in a little bit so you can see the fishes right below you. Now, because the airport is on its own motu, all the lagoon resorts come and pick you up here at the airport by boat. And the cost is all different depending on how close they are in proximity to the airport. All the desks are right there waiting for the guests to arrive. We are going to Vaitape, which is the bigger city in Bora Bora, because we are staying on the mainland and we are going by ferry right there. Uh, it is free to go to Vaitape from the airport because they are part of the um, airline. Here's our first hotel room here in Bora Bora. It's just a basic hotel room with just basic amenities, nothing fancy or anything. It does fit three people if we wanted it to. They are doing some renovation right outside our room, so that area there is not very uh, nice or anything, but it works for us. Now, I do love the outside of our room. It's got a lot of vegetations. A lot of them are in full bloom right now at one stage or another. And you can't tell by right up there, there is a grove of mango trees and they are at the, their peak. They are all yellow and all ripe and they were gorgeous. And the reason why we are staying two nights here is because we do have planned three days of excursion. One day we're going snorkeling. The second day we're doing an ATV tour up in the mountains and then the third day we're going to rent a car and we are going to just do a self tour of the island of Bora Bora and because we're doing that we don't like to stay at a very expensive resort and not be at the resort and waste all that money. And this resort is called Meite. They actually have beach bungalows. And uh, not only do they have beach bungalows, they also have overwater bungalows as well. And they were a little pricier and we, because we weren't gonna be staying at, and playing too much at this resort because we're gonna do a lot of excursions outside of the resort, we didn't wanna pay for the actual, more expensive, because the overwater bungalows were probably around $800. Our room was about $200 a night and we're staying two nights. And not only are we staying at this resort uh, for the fact that we won't be staying here too much during the day, uh, we are staying here because we travel a lot on points and our two nights here at this resort was actually free um, using points. And so that's why we're staying here. Um, we hate to pay you know, $1,600 a night at a resort when you're gonna be outside of the resort and not utilize that service. So Meite actually worked for us. It's actually very beautiful. Look at those mangoes just hanging off of those trees. 
so ripe too. And they have so many kinds of flowers growing on their resort. And sunset is just so beautiful right on the beach here. And like I said, one of the excursions that we are doing is to go snorkeling. And part of that, we get to swim with sharks. These are black tip sharks, and we were told that they were not dangerous. The water is only waist deep. Stingrays were abundant as well. These are my favorite fish. They're called butterfly fish, and they were so friendly. Our GoPro actually died during this excursion because it got water in it, and so a lot of this footage is actually from our cell phone. I'd say always have a backup plan just in case one falls through. Now this sharks area is actually pretty close to the Conrad where we actually stayed at as well. That's why we were able to see sharks right on the beach or coming right through underneath the bungalow. There's my husband. Now because our GoPro died, we didn't have any footage from the coral garden. But if you ever go to Bora Bora, you can't miss the coral garden. We were also taken to see the manta rays. They are just so majestic, so huge. Bora Bora is so green all over. Every morning we would pass this lady's mango tree and it would be all over on the ground. So one day I asked her to see if I can pick up the ones from the ground and she said no, they're no good anymore. So she picked it from the tree for us. It was huge and delicious. Look at my husband's best friend on Matera Beach. Of course, the only day that it actually rained while we're in French Polynesia was the day that we went on an ATV tour on the top of the mountain. Even though this doesn't show it, but it's actually inclined really steep up into the mountains. Not only did it rain, but it poured.
What an adventure it was, no matter rain or shine. We climbed and climbed all the way to the top, and what a view. The tour guide actually took us all the way to the owner of the ATV tour company to tour his property and also to have some fruits that he picked fresh right off the tree for us. Goodness, flowers were blooming everywhere. While he's cutting the mangoes and the pineapple, and other fruits there for us. I'm gonna just go out and take a look at the property. So lush and green. And what a view, way out to the ocean. Oh my goodness. I wanna have a house right on this edge right here. What a view. Look at those bananas growing on the banana tree. a beautiful mountain view as well. Here's a little tour by ATV. Just keep an eye out for all the mango trees and all the banana trees. Look at that mango tree, full of mangoes. Too bad you guys can't see it on video. One last look at this beautiful airport. Very, very unique. This is it for Bora Bora. Please see my other videos on the Intercontinental Thalasso and also Conrad.